morning everyone welcome to my channel so today's tutorial we're going to make a stretchy headband for a baby so it's very very easy I think you can do this okay so our material will be yarn of course so I'm going to use like two color pink and white and it's very very soft it's good for the babies scissor we're going to use a size 3 hook and tape measurement and a needle so let's start so first we're going to make chain 8 plus 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then we're going to add 3 more stitch so I just put my hand on that last 8 because we're going to put our hoof after we've done on this tree so next we're going to slip stitch on that eight stitch so you're going to do a slip stitch and then chain three one two and three so next you're going to skip the next chain so this is the one that we're working you're going to skip this one and you're going to slip stitch on the next one so just to slip stitch there and chain three again on the top of that slip stitch and do the same thing skip this one slip stitch here and chain three again and then skip this one and slip stitch on the next stitch on the next chain whatever you want to call that one two three and then you're going to slip stitch on the last stitch so that's our first rows so next rows will be chain three turn and you're going to do slip stitch on each of this hole so it's very easy now to remember we don't need to count so just slip stitch inside that hole and chain three slip stitch inside that hole and chain three and then slip stitch again and chain three and then slip stitch again and chain three so slip stitch again on the last row and chain three and next turn your product so that's our pattern slip stitch chain three 
slip stitch chain 3 so it's very easy right slip stitch chain 3 on the top of that slip stitch and slip stitch again on that third hole and then chain 3 on the top of that and then slip stitch again and chain 3 so slip stitch again and chain 3 and turn your project so just continue doing that pattern until you reach the size that you want okay so I'll be back to you guys after you're done on yours and I'm going to show you what we're going next so I have here mine so you can see how pretty is it so for the one that I'm making, I want to have like a 14 inches long. So I need to measure mine. So I'm on my 13, 13 and a half. So I need maybe two more rounds. So just to continue, chain 3, slip stitch, chain 3, slip stitch. So I'm using two yarn to make the headband go a little bit bulky and so it's so cute to mix, match the color. Oops. Oops again. I need to wear my glasses. I can't see. And four. Okay. I need to measure it again. So there you go. One more. So I have my. 14 inches long so now we need to look which one is the front one and the back side so I think this is my front and this is my back okay so now you're going to pull them together and sew. Sew them together.
or if you want a little bit more easy you can cut your yarn and just use the needle to sew them so just sew them together like that So I'm just doing a slip stitch from this side to the other side. Okay. So almost done. Go to the other side. So do that. Almost finish. yarn so you can sew your excess tail excess tail to there okay you just go Hide it. Okay. And do the same thing as this one. So now it's done and then you turn your project so that is our stretchy headband and now can make a bow and to hide that seam that we do you can put your bow or your flower on that side so it's going to be clean and you don't see any connection so I have a tutorial already on this uh, 3d petals so you just visit my youtube channel and you can see how I make this beautiful flower so I just put that there Just connect the flower on the headband. So. So you just do back and forth, back and forth. There's no specific way how to to put your flower, but if you have a better way, so that's more better. That's more good. 
So I just sewing it. come out and we're almost done one and that's it I think so it's done so I just hide it Voila. That was our beautiful headband. Hope you like it. Please like and subscribe and I will add the link how to make this 3d petals flower so thank you thank you have a week have a good weekend everyone and god bless us all bye bye